What is up, everyone? Welcome to the Scoop Kickoff Show for episode number 101, coming to you here live exclusively on my official YouTube channel. It's youtube.com front slash Noah Mania. Hey, it, Noah. Yeah, what's up? Where's The Undertaker? Uh, I'm still cleaning up right now. I'm trying to get like... Oh! oh, shit. So we got something a little more important to talk about for the kickoff show than The Undertaker. And believe me, we well, got... A they, you're a complete moron? We got a great show for you guys today. Lots really of, good lots, really of good. lots of breaking Ooh, news. Really good show. And by the way, how do I sound live chat? We got 14 people watching live. Check, check, hey, audio live check. Hey, live chat. It's me, Noah. How do I sound? Hi. Hey. The scoop is going to start in 14 minutes. So it's awesome. We're going to take your phone calls. We're going to talk about the breaking news of Randy Orton making his return. We got tons of news, but this is the kickoff show. And quite frankly, more important than Randy Orton coming back. I've known Eric for 13 years. Wait, what? Now. I've Did you just spoil SmackDown for me? No, it's not a spoiler. It was, it was listed online. Like breaking news. <laughs> that day. doesn't make it not a spoiler. T time oh. out. Time out guys. We're not talking about that yet. We're not talking. I just found out. Apparently, that. What do you mean? Apparently, Eric Barnes is an octoroon. That's not the word. You're half. It's, what? It's mulatto. Mulatto. <laughs> you're you're really a mulatto. I had no idea you were you had black in you. Yeah, because you know all white people just grow massive froze. What well, a fucking idiot! I, oh, you God damn. I, Mike, <laughs> would you think that Eric is half black? What kind of racist shit is that, Noah? No, oh Eric God. told me before we went live. I thought you were black. better than this, Noah. I thought you were better okay, than this. Eric, I've never once seen a picture of you with anyone of black descent in your... Wait a second. Uh, on your social Are you media. being racist? What? Anyone of black descent, so I, I have to hang out with black people because I'm no, not black. No, but no, what I'm... Oh, my God, no, bro. Eric, wow. Eric. You're totally different than I Eric, thought you were, man. Eric. What, you're, about to, you're about to kick me off the scoop? No, what I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, if you're half black, you obviously have black people in your family. That's not racist of me to say. Well, I don't have an afro, and I have black people in my family. What are you trying to fucking say? No, Eric, you're so close-minded. So close you're so close-minded. <clears throat> you, Eric, are you really? No, I'm. I'm just really fascinated. You're, you're just. You're really close-minded. That's all I'm saying. No, I'm not have you seen? Ha, how many pictures of me have you seen with? any member of my family true okay you got me yeah there. so why don't you do less of this and more of shutting the fuck up oh <laughs> serious no i i'm just i i'm not like i i'm not like judging it i think it's cool Nine just, one six two 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 three five one. how you're on the air no the phone lines are not open yet the kickoff <laughs> show is still going on but seriously eric eric are you half black for real why would i make that up I don't do know. Do not understand that I grew an with afro. Me. Do not understand that my hair was huge afro. What don't you understand about that? I'm just what, what kind of scientist does it take to be like, hey, that tan dude with an afro might not be a hundred percent Aryan race. You're not tan though. Oh you're oh okay. That was that's hate speech. No, oh, I don't it's have to not. I don't have to listen to it. <laughs> uh, wow, this is like Seriously, live chat. Would you have ever guessed? I'm sorry. I just, Mike. Would you have ever thought? Oh my Eric god! Was get over it. No. Don't okay. try and rope me into your close-mindedness. Oh, my only god. A, only a close-minded bigot would make a big deal out of it. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, that that's very true. <sighs> By the way, everyone. So unrelated to that, I um, hopefully I solved the issue with the camera blacking out. No, no, that's not a racist remark either, Erickson. Oh, Tony. blacking out? It didn't white out, of course. <laughs> Golly. <laughs> I'm just uh, tips and watch. You know, you know how Noah realized this, guys? It's because it's because he was talking to me before we went on the air, and he dropped the N word. And I said, I can say that, Noah. You can't. You said, Why? Because you're black. And I said, Half black. And that's how this all started. Because no, Noah is racist. I did not the drop the N word. Okay. I believe Eric. You did. You did. <laughs> Uh, no, I said it in the context of something else, and it was it had the A at the end, the, the cool like Kanye West That's way. Not of saying. Oh, That's please not don't say the cool Kanye West way. <laughs> I'm telling you, okay. Jonathan DeRozier. Oh, the <laughs> Jonathan DeRozier says kick Noah off Noah Mania. 
And the yeah, it's crew mania today. And, yeah, crew mania running wild. And the Nolo says Noah Mania really is just like Hulkamania, isn't he? <laughs> Look, yeah, in private conversations, he'll say it. No. Hey, my best friend is black, okay? I don't want to hear it. That's what they all say. Ouch. Uh, I have my best friends are black. What about no, oh, I love, black man? I love this comment, Stefan Block. I was going to ask Noah why he doesn't have any brothers on, but never mind. Represent. Yeah. Are you doing the fist now, Eric? Um, no. You just did the fist. I just saw you do that. <laughs> I was stretching. Okay. God. April Williams writes in the live anymore? chat. April Williams. Yes. April Williams says, I watched it and I didn't know that E-Bar was half black. So see, that's fair. Whatever, Noah. So it's still my fault. Whatever. It's still my fault. It's clearly your fault. You've known me 13 years. She's known me 13 weeks, okay? Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. How many people in your life have just assumed you were half black? Oh, my God. I'm I'm for sure done talking about this. Why are you talking about this? Okay. Why are you hassling me? Is it because I'm black? (laughs) No. Okay. Anyway, let's move on from that. So how have you guys been since the last show? Half black, I guess. I, I don't know how you've been. <laughs> oh, my. This is probably the best scoop kickoff show we've ever done before, by the way. Would you yeah. at least agree with that? It's okay. It's okay. There yeah. was one a couple weeks back that was good. No, uh, I mean, to me, it's the most racist kickoff show that we've oh, done. Stop. Well, that's why he thinks it's the best. So how have you been, Mike, since last week? I was in the hospital and I almost died, but other than that, I'm fine. What? Yeah. What oh happened? God, you never Facebook called me. While, Noah. You never called me about that. You never checked my Facebook. That's your bad. What happened, dude? Or do you want to talk about off there? I ate a chocolate chip cookie and it almost killed me. Oh, too much sugar? Yes. I'm what did you start to feel like? Like, what happens when something uh, like that? Well, I ate a chocolate chip cookie, and I went outside, and I smoked a cigarette, and then I got really lightheaded and dizzy, and it's like you get the spins if you, like, smoke really good weed and then a cigarette right after, uh, and, you know, it was really hot and muggy out here, so I, I had to run back into the air conditioning, but, uh, I mean, that was basically it, you know, I made a stupid mistake, but, you know, I've been having those kind of spells even before I had diabetes, so it, it's not a big deal, they just pumped me. Uh, with a couple uh, IV bags and uh, gave me a couple insulin shots. and It's good as new in six hours. That's good. I'm sorry to hear that, man. That's a really tough reaction. I guess that just... And that goes for all of us. We all should really just be mindful of our sugar intake because even the healthiest people can develop I just diabetes. I a fucking cookie, okay? I know. I don't... It sucks. I mean, it's just something... It doesn't suck. I'm a fucking grown man. If I want a cookie, I'm going to eat a fucking cookie. No, I just... No, and I didn't say that. I just said that it's something for, like, all of us. Like, we should all be mindful of, like, even people that are in perfect health because you never know. You never know. But you know what my favorite thing was? The doctor came in, and uh, they read my blood results, and she was, like, smiling. She's like, okay, I think you're going to be good as new, like, in no time. Uh, We just ran your liver and kidney work, and it doesn't even look like you have diabetes. That shit is, like, so in such good shape, and I'm like... Yeah, I drink like three gallons of water a day. That's awesome. Yeah, buddy. That's awesome. Uh, by the way, not to lighten the mood too much, but yeah. Stefan Block... And wrote, I don't say the N-word to my phone. What? Stefan Block wrote in the live chat, fist bumps for my brother, Ebar. Uh, nation of Domination Crew Edition. Me, Ebar, in April, and Mike can be the Owen Hart in the nation. I'll take it. You'll take it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and... Noah, you can be Jim Neidhart. What's that supposed to mean? It means nobody cared about him after the Hart Foundation broke up. Ouch. I don't think anybody cared about him during the Hart Foundation. Yeah, but at least they pretended to. Right. (laughs) I gotta say, I was pretty, 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 pretty upset. Pretty cool? Pretty, pretty pretty cool. Pretty, pretty upset. You know, I I was not super happy with episode 100 of The Scoop. I just think that, and I'm not, like, taking shots at either. either. Me either. You know what the problem is? I think the common denominator is you, and we need to kick you off. That's a good idea. Ouch. 
because it was it was a good show except for like there was one thing that just like yeah wasn't Rex falling like four times was not a good thing oh Rex is cool <laughs> oh shit Breeze Dorling says Ebar is now part Kardashian no I already I already dealt with that <laughs> did you put him on timeout for that no but he's lucky he's lucky <laughs> you almost did <laughs> yeah. uh, no but seriously I just felt like. I think that in all seriousness, all teasing and kidding aside, I think the three of us have such great chemistry like working together that when we get a fourth person on, and in this case we had five people on last week, it just turned into kind of a clusterfuck. And I honestly, can just... honestly, I think it was because Jeff was not set up and equipped to do a live video streaming And show. honestly, nothing against Jeff. I just really felt like he didn't want to be here last week. Dude. I told you before we even did the show that it, it sounded overbooked. Five different people trying to get their word in along with callers. What, I mean, what come irrit- on. No, what irritates me is Jeff like was constantly hitting up Aaron, hitting me up, and Aaron was begging me to have Jeff on. And we, uh, we finally have him on. He just sits there. This was like the look on his face for most of the show. True. But, like we try to have fun with him and kind of goof on him a little bit because this show isn't like a super serious show. We try to keep it somewhat light. And he leaves the show. He gets pissed off and leaves. Why you keep it light because there's no black people on the panel? Why are you such a racist? God, it just come, keeps coming back to it. Damn, Noah. You know. Are we going to put this in the lockbox? I think we let's, better put, let's this put, whole, put this in the lockbox. Let's put this whole kickoff show in the lockbox. <laughs> I'm going to take a quick break for the uh, scoop. All right, that's fine. So, Mike, I'm really, really, really relieved, though, that you're okay. Yeah, I'm fine. That's good. So what else have you been up to? Nothing. Nothing? Chilling. Chilling in the air conditioning. That's that's what I'm doing. It's freaking hot hotter than shit out here. It's hot and it's hot and muggy here though. You just have the regular heat, but I have the the Midwest fucking uh stank heat. The stank because heat cuz it feels so like when you go outside you have to take like another shower every time you go yeah, out. Yeah, it's really really uh the humidity is up probably like what 100%. <laughs> like between 80 and 100%. So I just walk over to the lake, chill out at the lake when I'm when I'm outside and Yeah. That's, you know, I chill here. Weird. Get some work done in the air conditioning, but that's about it. Yeah. So the scoop is about to start in about two minutes. We got 39 people watching live. What what do we have on the agenda today? We got lots of stuff on the agenda. We're going to talk about the return of Randy Orton. We're going to talk about Raw Monday night. I know I already um, I already touched on it. I did my live Noah Donna show following Raw, but that was terrible. Yeah, we're going to talk about that a little bit. Uh, we're going to talk about some announcements that were made on Raw that were pertinent to the brand extension. We did got lot. Huh? Intelligence yet? Pardon me? Did you see Central Intelligence? Did you watch Central Intelligence yet? No, I did not. Sorry, your microphone cut out. No, your face cut out. Wow. He went there. He went there. I thought Mary was going to be on this show. Uh, She's working. Oh. She is hard at work. And I'm hardly working. I see. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Just fucking saying. But, no, it's going to be a good show today. Lots of fun to be had. And, like I said, hopefully I corrected the issue with the um, with the video stream blacking out. I switched to Google Chrome instead of fucking uh, Safari. So, hopefully that fixes it. So, tell your friends on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, MySpace. I always say that. That the scoop is going to be live in about a minute. So... What what do you guys think? Is it time for the scoop? Let me know in the live chat. Let us know. We're going to take your phone calls. We're going to talk about lots of stuff. It's going to be a fun show. Hi, guys. What? Hi, guys. <laughs> no, I wasn't making fun of him. Ouch. That was a burn. Ouch. That was a burn. I'm going to check into the burn clinic. Is she 78607? No. Uh, Aaron is not going to be on tonight. Chris Payne, HBTW, Noah, where's Joe? Uh, in the lockbox, where he belongs. Is that fair to say? In the lockbox? Who? Joe. Who's Joe? Exactly. What up, Interstate Kyle? Breeze Dorling says, wait for E-Bar. Oh, Aww. you mean the guy who has the miners fish themselves on his show? Oh. 
Oh, and then Rex says, yes, yes, yes. Awesome. Well, I think it's time for the scoop, so I think we should crack this bitch open and get started, because we're awesome like that. Hang on, let me see where I am right now. Where am I right now? No idea. In not Sacramento. What? You're in Nutsack, Ramento? Ouch. You're harsh in my game, yo. Alright. Well, I'm ready. Let's start. Half boogie, half uptight, half day and half night mulatto. Coffee with cream like a billionaire playing the lotto. One hole is good, but two halves is better. Run through the jungle in a powder blue sweater. Listen, think twice. I say let's be nice to the mulatto. 